Okay. Take two, because like an idiot, I did not hit the record button. So, uh, a little while ago, I did a video on splitting with the 12 volt wedge, that section of the pile. Then I just finished splitting all of this today. It took a couple hours. I split every round, even the big ones. Big ones are like 24, 25 inch with the 12 way wedge. You saw that in the last video. And I hope those guys, uh, I haven't posted that video yet, so when I'm re while I'm recording this, and so I'm hoping they had a good sense of humor about being called out. So <laughs> it's, it's all a good fun. All a good fun, guys. Uh, so the big question is, is how well did my uh, wedge pin uh, retention fix with the cotter pin hold up after all this? For review, or those that haven't seen that video, I'll show that clip now. All right, I got the pin in place. And now I have to have two, I need three hands to get this bent. I gotta get this bent all the way around enough. As you can see, you need two pliers or, th or three hands to do this. There. Now, this should not come out. But when I do need it to come out, swap wedges or go to the single, all you have to do is just bend it. And no more losing these pins. I've lost enough of them. All right, let's get geared up and get splitting. And we're back to the present time. Uh, a week or so later, actually in real time, you know, from that video clip. So take a look. Uh, the sun is blinding everything and how well that is held up so far so good i am liking that a lot all i have to do is take the pliers and just bend the buggers out of it because then this way i can keep the wedge at the height where i want it that's the whole reason for the pin uh, to be in there so the wedge height doesn't change on me. I don't mind if it floats if I'm running the four-way doing regular wood and stuff, you know. That don't bother me so much. But when running the 12-way, I wanted to keep it more consistent. And now that I know that it works, I'll do that on the four-way. I know I need a haircut. Yeah, it's windier than heck here, you know, like 18, 20 mile an hour winds. So, yeah, uh, I was actually having fun today with... Uh, making firewood for a change uh, because this is probably going to end up being my wood but there's probably enough there's more here more here than I could store per campground rule per uh, DNR rules so maybe I'll sell some but I got to get it stacked so that's going to take uh, another weekend to get that stacked so next up is I'm going to work on this year's wood I worked on next year's wood before this year's wood makes no sense right well, that's because, you know, this was green last fall and it needs to dry. So next time, I'll be splitting on that pile over there. Somewhere, I, I can't see because I don't have my readers to see, but somewhere over that way. I'll be splitting more ash. Uh, I think I'm going to run the 12 way. We'll see. I'll, I'll run a few rounds to see how it uh, struggles because running it running uh some of that wood through the 12 some of this wood through the 12 wood wedge it was struggling bad uh, i maxed it out at pegged it at 3000 psi a few times but the wolfridge 28c handled it so until next time folks take care get out there do something 
have fun doing it. Man, I'm starting to feel like the Shaggy DA. Oh, those of you that don't know that reference, that's an old TV show, the Shaggy DA. It's about a district attorney that got turned into a dog.